This is Pasties Herb. We are a team on an assignment to build the fate of men and set their hearts on fire through the media system. With hundreds of insightful videos here on our channel, we hope to bless and bond with you. Don't forget to click the like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe. We love and celebrate you. Whoever you want, if you want to, to be famous, lift, if God wants to Lord, lift you, you can and lift announce you through to the world me. from Nigeria, your feet Whoever must touch Lagos. There are two cities your feet must touch, Abelkuta and Lagos. If your feet does not touch it prophetically, your voice will not be heard from this nation because there is a covenant. In the realm of the spirit, Abel could I get back to Lagos. The power of relationships. All ministers so need to hear this, but I have to just mention it. The power of relationships. Genesis 1 and verse 1 to 4. And then the last is the prophetic advantage. These are the keys. These last two, they are really, really very important. But another time, praise the name of the Lord. Let's look at one scripture and we pray. Genesis chapter 12, the first four verses. As we prepare to pray. We will rise in your name. Adonai, you reign on That's what is happening to you. I will rise in your name. Adonai. The Lord said to Abraham, get thee out of your country, your kindred, your father's house, unto a land that I will show you. Next verse. We are showing the power of relationships. And I will make of thee a great nation. It says, I will bless you, make your name great, you will be a blessing. Verse 3. The Bible says, I will bless them that bless you, curse him that cursed thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Read verse 4 if you are a christian ready one to read so abraham departed as the lord had spoken uh-huh and lot went with him stop god did not call lot he called abraham and spoke a prophetic word that as you obey me and lot had it he said who is this talking to you i am going with you 13 verse 5 let me borrow two minutes my spirit is fired up 13 and verse 5 i have to land on this note the bible says and also lot which went with abraham had what he was not called he was not sent he only followed someone who was moving forward and the bible says as a result he also had flocks and herds and tents next verse and the land was not able to bear them both the one that was called and the one who connected through relationship they had such abundance and influence their substance was so great so that they could not dwell together watch this a lesson that i will end with and there was a strife between the herdsmen of adam's of abram's cattle and the herdmen of lord's cattle and the canaanites and the Perizzites dwelt in the land verse 8 tragic thing and abraham said unto lot let there be no strife i pray thee between me and thee and between my herdmen and thy herdmen for we be brethren nine it says it's not the whole land before thee separate thyself lot had become so great he was not wise to discern that the reason why he increased was not because the anointing was on him was because he had a relationship and now abraham said since you could not mentor your people to know why the blessing comes to you let there be no strife you can go separate yourself i pray thee from me if thou will take the left hand i will go to the right if thou will take the right i will go to the left abraham is saying it does not matter is what is on me for you oh anyone help that man please help him help him please verse 10 and lot 
the foolishness of those who follow let this be a lesson men of god there are times that god connects you to people not just as a mentor not just as a father there are covenant relationships that god brings you through your lifting is connected to it you must look beyond the weaknesses and the limitations of the people and stay there because your covenant alignment is how you are blessed don't now think because you are wearing a gucci he's wearing a gucci you preach is preaching your prophesying is prophesying champions know what they did that made them great they will tell you go but when they tell you go you are not going alone you are going with a plethora of troubles the bible says look at the first time he was going to make a decision alone outside of the influence of his relationship and see how foolish that means his wealth was not a proof of his wisdom it was a proof of his relationship now here is a man who prospered you would think the wisdom was his own now he was left to make a decision alone and here's where he chose and lord lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of jordan that it was well watered everywhere before the lord destroyed sodom and gomorrah even as the garden of eden and like the land of egypt and you know as he has come to zoa next verse please quickly lot chose the plain chose him all the plain of jordan and lot journeyed east and they separated themselves from one and from the other verse 12 the bible says and abraham dwelled in the land of canaan and lot went dwelt in the cities of the plain and pitched his tent towards by the time abraham will come to rescue lord where was he he went to settle near trouble he went to settle near pain he went to settle near deception because he could not see him. but thank god for the power of fathers and leaders you know the thing with fathers is that there is grace to take a lot of nonsense even when they tell you go away look at the prodigal son he didn't meet his father in the house when he was leaving the father too left his house they met on the way for some of you this may be a message god has placed a man of god above you when you came to this church you probably had nothing but you kept listening to the word now you have a great car now you have a great firm be careful do not make the mistake of lot this is not human worship is how the kingdom functions and lot went with him go in this your might rise up on your feet prayer point number one now that you know these things it says happy are you if you do them lift your voice and obtain grace from God grace to walk in keeping with these truths grace to walk in keeping with these truths a man of God is praying a leader in this house is praying go in this thy might go on the strength of this information do exploits your life is changing you will never be the same the power of vision you will never be the same the power of light high level spiritual illumination go ahead and pray the power of a transformed mind sustaining superior belief systems the power of value and productivity the power of destiny connections strategic relationships and alliances hallelujah the last key you may write it no time to explain but it's called the prophetic advantage hosea chapter 12 and verse 3 as i speak over your life hosea chapter 12 and verse 13 hosea 12 and 13 and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was he preserved the prophetic advantage is a system of advantage built into god's economy to help people rise prophecy is powerful it can create and program possibilities over the life of an individual i stand in faith with pastor larry over the house on the rock port Arcot, over the south south ministers here present and following online 
over the body of Christ within this region and in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God I declare that anything that will not let you go I declare that it goes down now it goes down now in the name of Jesus I speak to you everyone who has been ordained to hold your hands and lift you in the next season of your life in ministry and in business I speak to the north the south the east and west of this region I command them to appear now in the name of Jesus Christ hear me everything that has died or is dying in your life I send a prophetic word to that which is dead Talita Kumi come back to life now come back to life now when Paul and Silas prayed and sang there was an earthquake and the Bible says and all doors open not some doors I want to open doors by the spirit of grace I stand by the unction of him that holds the key of David who opens a door that no man shuts and shuts a door that no man's open every door needed to be opened in this season for your destiny for ministry that has been shot by witchcraft shot by men's systems and structures we speak to those doors and those gates a father be open a father be open a father doors of ministry doors of family doors of business a father be open in the name of jesus help them please let me declare restoration some of you have lost money some of you have lost relationships you have lost things you've lost destiny opportunities the bible says they are taken for a prey and none say it restore i come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic i declare whatever has left you i call it by name and i command it to return back to your destiny please believe return back to your destiny hallelujah now listen to me there are two people in the bible who solved problems and were forgotten one of them was joseph he solved the problem of the wine presser he said please when you go to the king tell him i'm not here because i was supposed to be here and he forgot him the next person was mordecai he saved the life of the king and yet nothing happened but my bible says that night could not the king sleep and the king said bring me the chronicles they opened a book of remembrance many of you have helped people you prayed for them you advised them you supplied value you were part of the lifting and the rising of many and they are forgotten about you i stand by the spirit of grace and prophecy tonight let the book of remembrance be open for you open for your family open for your ministry in the name of jesus we're wrapping up hear me exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 the bible says and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty there is a grace for favor there truly is a grace for favor Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the B part says and Esther obtained favor favor works with the power of sight she obtained favor in the sight of how many all them that looked upon her verse 17 not even the king could resist this anointing the Bible says and the king loved Esther more than all the women she obtained grace and favor in his sight and he set the royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Esther I pray for you the Esther anointing the oil that Haggai gave Esther to rub on her body for one year before she would stand before Ahasuerus may that grace come upon your life now 
May that grace come upon your ministry now. Hallelujah. One time Saul, the son of Kish, had their donkey missing. And he took his servant and they began to journey to look for Samuel. To look for the donkey. They could not find the donkey. And they said, there is a holy man of God. And when they came and he met this strange prophet called Samuel, Samuel said, rise up and I will tell you what is in your heart. As soon as Saul saw Samuel, the donkey started going back home. When he met him, he said, is it not because the Lord has anointed and ordained you to be captain over his army? He said, three signs that you have been anointed. Number one, that which was missing that you've been looking for is now restored. Number two, when you are passing, you will see three men. Who are holding bread they will salute you and they will give it to you number three you will come to the garrison of the philistines and the spirit of god will come upon you and you will prophesy let me declare to you again everything that has left you you've tried to look for it you could not find it like prophet samuel i stand here on this exalted altar and i declare return back and see it waiting for you number two the kind of honor you have never seen listen you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another honor is a grace he told moses call joshua in whom the spirit is on and anoint him he said take some of your honor and place upon him honor is transferable in the name that is above all names shame and reproach that has plagued you and your family for a long time i stand in agreement with pastor and we declare take the mantle of honor upon your life take the mantle of honor let shame and reproach come to an end in the name of jesus christ finally let me pray for your prayer life and your word study life it says grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge we must become students of scripture we must become students of prayer it says my house shall be called the house of prayer but you have turned it into a den of robbers and your body is that house so either you are a house of prayer or you are a place that satan will come and steal from you have to choose one if you are not a house of prayer then you become a place where robbers come and leave they leave as sickness they leave as failures you are either a house of prayer or the den of robbers in the name of Jesus you become an inferno of fire that prays access to spiritual knowledge and illumination I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus you will be men and women of superior character in the name of Jesus Christ you will go from strength to strength and anyone who has said let's see what will become of them they will bury their heads in shame 